was me and my girlfriend Joanne and our friend Eric and um, I mean at this point I you know was essentially a nobody like I had put music out into the world and it was getting recepted but like I we paid for tickets to go to the show I wasn't on any artist list and I wasn't backstage or anything I really went as a fan Andrew Lewis. I'm 17 years old. I'm from the Bay Area, and I produce and perform electronic music. When I was in eighth grade, I basically just took out a year to completely focus on working on electronic music, and it just, I, it kind of opened my eyes a little bit that you have so much extra, like, room to create and so much extra room to do exactly what you want instead of being like restricted to one instrument. My name is David Crow, aka Gastly, and uh, I make music for a living and I perform for people and I uh, try to give people happiness. I try to give people an escape. That's my job. And uh, we stepped outside of the tent for a second because it was hot and uh, I heard the lead to one of my songs, Feel the Volume, come on. And I just remember like running through the crowd, like shoving people out of our way. And like we literally got to the front of the stage right as the song dropped and like I remember turning around and seeing a crowd of like six, seven thousand people all go like absolutely insane to something I had done. <laughs> Like I was literally like a kid in a candy store who had just, you know, been handed all the candy in the world. My name is Sam Vogel. Uh, I go by the name Jaws, and I am a electronic music producer and touring DJ and professional college dropout. You know, I would go to my film classes and I would sit there bored and uninspired and look around at the kids in my class and all of them were completely the opposite. They were excited to be there every day. They loved going to the classes that I hated and I realized if I was doing the same thing that I'm doing right now but with music instead of film, I would feel like they do and I wouldn't feel like I do right now. Um, I think it, I think I decided to really kind of bend genres and not really try to make one significant sound. I'd say right when I got involved because there were so many different kinds of this music that was so good. Dance music has so many layers. It's not like country music where you can guarantee that there will, it'll be about a dirt road, a pair of jeans, a beer on your truck with your girl. Dance music never know because it's so weird and what's awesome about this audience is the weirder it is the more they like it for my shows it, it kind of depends on where I'm playing but I mean I've played anywhere from a club of 250 to 300 people that's like a packed room like super small and intimate to a big empty warehouse with six or seven thousand people to literal football stadiums that have like eight to ten thousand people and then festivals that have you know anywhere from five thousand to ten thousand people at each stage with five different stages going on all at the same time and then when you talk about someone like Diplo or Skrillex like the number is just like exponentially like just get insane a lot of it is just like good time music like it's 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 meant for people to like come and like get hyped up to go see um, and I, I think that uh, that's like a lot of our generation like we everything is like so quick everything is like we need it now all the time that like at the end of the week people just want to like go out and relax and like have a good time I feel like every single time I release a song, that's a part of me that I want to express as far as uh, aggression is concerned. I used to be in metal bands and that was my release, was getting on stage and screaming lyrics and just like causing this mosh pit, like that was my release, was to become a Neanderthal almost and like run this chaos, be the orchestrator of this giant uh, violent pit. Uh, 
Um, it didn't matter if it was a thousand people or fifty people. If I was walking up on stage, I had butterflies and you know was was so nervous that I wasn't gonna do everything perfectly and was just so afraid. And I just remember like the feeling of like being that nervous and getting up on stage and seeing everyone like connect to what you're doing and the music that you're playing is like a feeling unlike anything else. really weird to me because I had normally listened to like hip-hop or something and I couldn't really get into it but then here was this random thing coming up that was like dance music and I could actually like relate to it fast forward to 2012 and I went to my first EDM concert technically it was uh, bass nectar done at the Bill Graham Center and I had a blast I, and I especially love him because he mixes a whole bunch of things it's not just one genre it's like incorporated music from different cultures and genres all in one thing. So after that, I went to go to my first rave. And my friend took me a couple months later. In high school, they'd be like, hey, you don't like that? You don't like rock and roll or this and that? Which I do. I love all music. But I guess it was what appealed to me when early on was it was like the weird thing to like. And that's what sort of drew me in to the culture surrounding dance music. Um, but I mean, ultimately, music is, music is about like togetherness. That's what it's always been about. Um, and I think like the, the interaction between fans and artists is definitely super important. The more you get into it, the more you feel like it's for you. I think that's the weirdest thing about it because you hear it in clubs and, and sometimes at parties and you think, oh wow, it's just you know for everybody, which it kind of is, but when you get more into it, you learn that it's, it's for anyone who doesn't feel like they belong. And that, that's, that's the bottom line, that's where it starts. 